एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट पियाजेस थ्योरी ऑफ कॉग्नेटिव डेवलपमेंट नाउ सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस थ्योरी व्हाट इज पियाजेस थ्योरीज ऑफ कॉग्नेटिव डेवलपमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू पियाजे ह्यूमन माइंड हैज टू एस्पेक्ट्स कॉग्नेटिव स्ट्रक्चर एंड कॉग्नेटिव फंक्शनिंग फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस वी we should first have to understand what is cognitive development the term cognitive development refer to the process of growth and change in intellectual or mental abilities such as thinking reasoning understanding all the process which is related to our mental abilities is called cognitive development cognitive development cognitive word is taken from cognition and the meaning of cognition is to rec recognize or to understand something and this is totally related to our mind so piaget is keep the theory of piaget's theory of cognitive development and in his theory he divided human mind in two aspects that is cognitive structure and cognitive functioning so now we see what is cognitive structure and cognitive functioning here cognitive means mental abilities and structure is what structure and cognitive functioning is mental abilities which is functioning so now we see what is cognitive structure cognitive structure contain schema what is schema human body when born with some practical instincts and reflexes so what is the meaning of practical instincts here practical instincts means innate abilities which is possessed by every person and reflexes means what reflexes is the environmental changes like we uh, we take the example of reflex when we touch in, uh, any hot thing what happen we suddenly remove our hand so this is reflex so schema is what schema is practical instincts and reflexes means the innate abilities which is possessed in our mental abilities by environmental changes schema is pocket of information which which is stored in our mind like when child is very small we say anything to him he store like we say this is book so he understand that this is book and he stored that thing in in his schema schema is mental abilities and it is a pocket of information which is stored by every person in his mind first time like i am now i am teaching you and this schema word is set in your schema pocket of information in your mental abilities this is called schema when you first listen anything it set down in your mind okay and just pocket of information which you collect from your surrounding which you collect from your environment this is a schema and it is practical instinct it is innate abilities now we see what is cognitive functioning cognitive functioning is divided into three part first one is assimilation next one is accumulation and third one is equilibration now we understand what is assimilation what is accommodation and what is equilibration assimilation is what it is adding something in existing schema okay now we see this all thing with some example this is example like this is a boy and first time he see means first time we see uh, boy sit in his schema that bird bird look like this okay so what happened first time when he see bird is flying in the sky so what he say this is bird okay so in his schema in his pocket of information he stored that that bird look like this so he is he when he see bird flying in sky so he adopt that this is bird and he say that this is bird is flying in sky so this is called assimilation assimilation is what it is it is existing schema means when we say something means anything is stored in our schema
schema and after that we analyze we that we utilize that thing and we say that this is a bird so this is assimilation okay existing schema when you see new thing you uh, compare that thing with your existing schema like in boy uh, schema bird must be present and when in new situation he see that bird is flying in sky so he say that this is bird is flying in the sky so this is called assimilation now we see the example of what what happened in the next day this boy is with his sister he again see something is flying in the sky like aeroplane but he say this is not aeroplane this is bird okay he compare this aeroplane with the bird why because he according to boy everything which is flying in the sky is a bird okay so this girl which uh, means correct that boy that this is not this is not a bird this is aeroplane so this is called modification this is called alteration okay and this modification and alteration is called accommodation okay so when boy uh, when a girl correct boy that this is not aeroplane this is uh, sorry this is not a this is aeroplane this is not bird okay and girl uh, said to a child that bird is living things and this aeroplane is non living thing this both thing is totally different okay so this is called accommodation so understand what is firstly we understand that what is schema firstly boy stored in his schema that bird is flying in the sky so everything is means according to he said in his schema that flying thing is bird okay so first time when he see bird is flying in the sky what he say he say that this is bird so in according to by taking uh, information from his schema he said that this is bird is flying in the sky so this is called assimilation but after next time again he see aeroplane is flying in the sky and he say that this is bird okay now this girl correct him so this is not a bird this is aeroplane so this is modification so schema pocket of information assimilation is what it is existing schema okay and uh, accommodation is changing alteration by some more knowledgeable person this girl is what it is more knowledgeable person and this girl correcting this boy okay so according to this piaget has cognitive functioning and cognitive functioning is made up of three part assimilation accommodation and third one is what equilibration okay now we see what is assimilation using an existing schema to deal with a new object or situation okay here existing schema is what bird and new object or situation is what like again he see bird is flying in uh, sky so this is called exist using existing schema for dealing new object or situation now next one is what accommodation changing on altering our existing schema in light of new information like altering or changing means girl is doing what she is changing she is altering what his existing schema that this is not bird this is not aero this is what this is not aeroplane this is aeroplane this is not bird this is called accommodation now third one is what equilibration what is equilibration equilibration is a balance between applying previous knowledge assimilation and changing behavior to account account for new knowledge accommodation like when child is in assimilation okay and when child is in accommodation period so this both is called in between this equilibration come when child understand that this is uh, this is bird this is living things and when he understand that this is aeroplane this is non living thing and this is the uh, called equilibration child in 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 between assimilation and accommodation so this is called equilibration so according to piaget there is two thing cognitive structure and cognitive functioning cognitive structure com, uh, contain uh, cognitive scheme and cognitive functioning contain three parts assimilation accommodation and equilibration okay understood my topic is completed
ओके थैंक